Now is the time to think about a trip to Germany. Not because the job market is the way it is or because a new chip factory is being built. The reason why now is the right time is another. It is now the end of August. The summer vacations are over in most federal states. That means the new school year is starting. The new training year also starts at the beginning of August or the beginning of September, depending on the federal state. The new academic semester starts at the beginning of October. And when the last summer vacation is over, the prices for hotels become cheaper again. So why is now a good time? If you want to come to Germany as a tourist, you can of course come whenever you have time. Now you have the beautiful late summer, later the beautiful fall foliage. In winter there are the numerous Christmas markets and occasionally snow and winter sports. In spring the fresh greenery and flowers and in summer of course the sun and the popular beaches on the coast. But let's assume you want to study or do vocational training in Germany. Maybe you are not alone but have a partner or even no family. Then what? Then now is the right time to prepare because there is probably a lot to do. The new apprenticeships are starting this year and everyone who is doing an apprenticeship has already had an employment contract or enrolled at universities for months. Well, some are still looking for a contract for an apprenticeship and some companies are still looking for apprentices, but you should not rely on that. But now is a good time to prepare for next year at the start of an apprenticeship. For an apprenticeship you need level B1 German for an apprenticeship in the healthcare sector B2. Even if you only want to study in English, there are some degree courses, but the main language in Germany is German. This should not be underestimated. The television, the newspapers, the signs, the contracts and the conversations of all people around, everything is in German. Yes, you can certainly get by with English because most people speak English and younger people in particular also consume media in English but it remains a crutch. Whether the baker, landlord or clerk at the authorities also speaks English is a completely different question. So first of all, we now have time to improve our German language skills. Especially when you have to apply for a job with appropriate German language skills, it is time. We should then apply for the apprenticeship in January or February next year at latest. The sooner, the better. Even if you want to move to Germany with children, perhaps school children, it helps if they also start learning German. Learning together often helps to overcome the inner bastard. However, this is not yet necessary for young children, including kindergarten children. They can do it all by themselves when they are here in kindergarten. But if they also want to learn, we should make it possible for them. In addition to our understanding of German, we should also get our documents up to scratch. Degrees, certificates and references should be translated and notarized. Employers may have an understanding and knowledge of English, but they almost always require German translations when dealing with the authorities. On the Visa Navigator website, you can go through all the options as to why you want to come to Germany and whether you need a visa. So take a look at what is necessary and then compile the relevant documents. For an apprenticeship I usually only need a secondary school leaving certificate and the relevant knowledge of German. For a degree course the relevant qualification that entitles you to study. If it is then to be a master degree or habilitation the previous degree must of course be recognized. On this website you can check whether the degrees are recognized Unfortunately, it is only available in German. If you want to do an apprenticeship, you think about which apprenticeship or which area you are interested. Doing an apprenticeship for two, three or three and a half years to work in a field you don't like is a bad decision. Especially if you do it in another country. So first think about what you want. 
There are over 600 apprenticeships and other professions with school-based training that should leave nothing to be desired. Once you know what you want, look for vacancies. Of course, not only in case of apprenticeships, but also for normal job. The job portal of the employment agency Arbeitsagentur is the first portal of call, as every company can post vacancies there free of charge. You can also look through the job exchanges such as Monster, Stepstone or Indeed and others. The ending in Germany is of course always .de. If you don't want to go to a specific city, leave out the region for the time being. Global corporations such as SAP or Phoenix Contact have their headquarters in cities with population of around 16,000. You can only find these places if you know them. If you only look in the big cities because you don't know any other city, you will miss out on many opportunities. Then comes the application, or better still, lots of applications. In Germany, if possible, if your knowledge is not yet sufficient, then in English with information that you are in the process of learning. An application consists of a letter of application, Bewerbungsschreiben, stating why you have submitted this application to this company. Then the curriculum vitae, Lebenslauf. This contains your date of birth and full name. It also states whether you have children or married. Children are not a disadvantage in Germany. Many employers like to take family fathers or mothers because they don't change jobs so quickly. After all, they have a family to look after. A photo is not a must in Germany, but it's typically included. So it's not like in the USA where you write your application as anonymously as possible. Copies of most recent school report or degree and if applicable references from previous employers are attached. The standard is to apply by email. If you are at a job fair, you can also submit a paper CV to employers. It is now also possible to apply using Xing or LinkedIn profiles. It would therefore be an idea to create a professional profile on these sites. Of course, you might consider whether it would be better to travel to Germany to apply here, for example. There is the opportunity card, but that doesn't mean that you will find a job. In my opinion, it would be safer to look for a job in Germany from home. If the employer is interested in you, they will most likely also help you with other things such as finding accommodation. If we now know who our employer will be, or if we are studying where the place of study will be, then we have to look for an apartment. This is even more difficult than the job. If the employer can help here, that's worth a lot. While there are often job interviews via video chat in Germany anyway, the apartment search still has the point of viewing the apartment in person and in the case of private landlords, which accounts for the majority of apartments, especially in smaller towns, they want to meet the future tenants in person. Here too, there are various portals where you can search for properties such as Immobilien Scout 24 Immonet, Immowelt, 1A, Mieterportal, Kleinanzeigen and others, all ending in DE. Again, you will need to know German because all the ads are in German and the rental contract will probably in German too. And then you should take a look at the area you are moving to. What about schools or kindergartens? How far away are the stores for daily needs? Do I need a car or what are the bus and train connections like? Every website for a town or municipality lists all the schools and kindergartens in the area. It also lists all the clubs and societies. Clubs are a great idea to get in touch with the Germans. Perhaps there is a table tennis, field hockey, basketball or badminton club. In any case, there will be a football club, which every German village has. If you are moving with children, this period also makes sense. School children can start with a new school year. And then you will certainly have to take care of the move in good time. It may be cheaper to sell some things locally and then buy new ones in Germany. 
money is certainly an issue. To study, you have to have 11,904 euros in a special bank account per academic year in 2025. So whether it's for studying or working, for the first time in Germany you also need money to live on and perhaps to furnish your home. And in Europe, Germany is in third place for cost of living after Switzerland and Luxembourg. And perhaps it would also be a good idea to take a closer look at Germany. Depending on where you come from, there are more or fewer rules and completely different traditions. Religious matters are not seen so narrowly here, but insulting people is an offense that is often reported to the police. I actually only deal with these topics on this channel. Perhaps a subscription would make sense and of course see which videos are already available to prepare for your stay. What is your reason for being interested in Germany? There's a lot to do, so a year might not even be enough time. So let's get started. If the video was helpful, please leave a thumbs up or write a comment if you would like to know more about a specific topic. Thank you for your attention. See you in the next video.